I'm going to Adobe Library to, to copy it to. Click the Copy Mirror. I will start by illustrating the design overview. If you position the margin to the contact area of the adjacent teeth, you will find the design of the laminate until here. But if you extend the marginal line by passing the contact area to the lingual side, you can obtain a shape of the laminated vinyl just like this and connect with the pantic to make a bridge. The area on the left side of the connector is more vulnerable to fracture due to each smaller con connected area compared to that of the right side. In order to design a laminate bridge in clinic CAD, you need to have a right order sheet. You will be able to notice a problem if you order with the crown bridge. That's why you must put the order as a coping bridge. Run the clinic CAD. Select the prepared data module. Switch the scan data for the maxilla to the pre-op data. Put the virtual extracted scan data to the maxilla data. Before we get started, let me preface this process by saying that this isn't a Maryland bridge specific workflow, so there is a problem with setting the insertion direction. Draw margin of the adjacent teeth. I said that placing the margin on the buccal side will make the connection thinner. Let's show you what that looks like first. When you connect the last point of the margin, the insertion direction is automatically generated based on the shape of the margin. In this case, it will be buccal. This insertion direction also affects the gingival side of the panic, so it needs to be modified to the occlusal side to some extent. However, there is a limit to how much you can modify the insertion direction, so you can't do it all at once. In this case, you can go to the next step and come back and make one more correction. I'm going to Adobe Library to, to copy it to. Click the Copy Mirror function, show the pre op scan data. Select the tooth and then press the Apply button. Position copied tooth by considering adjacent teeth, the gingival line. Moving on to the next step, the inner surface, margin, and outer facing library will be combined to reflect the insertion direction. Use the sculpting tool to edit the shape. Trim the gingiva of the Japanic to fit. Make it connected by clicking Next. As a result, the right connection looks thinner and more at risk of fracture. Let's go back and edit the margin line lingually. As I mentioned before, by placing a margin on the lingual side beyond the contact point, you can reinforce the weak connection. To increase the strength of your printed prosthesis, I recommend changing the following settings. Go to Parameter Settings and increase the minimum thickness in the inner surface setting to a maximum value of 0.7 mm. Also modify the area of the coping connection in the outer surface setting to maximum value of 15 square mm. Let's do the same for the rest of the process. You will be able to find the difference when extending the margin to the lingual area. Compared to the previous result, we have prosthesis with much stronger connections and thickness. 